Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the string ES as the input and then the string ES will be containing the multiple words and then we have to accept the string W and after that we have to print the string ES with the words which are equal to w enclosed within the double quotes and then we need to implement this using and using a function in C. So string yes will be containing multiple words and then we have to accept the string W and then print the string yes with the words which are equal to W enclosed within double quotes. And after that, we need to implement this using a function in C. So this is our test case. So in this test case, we have this is the string yes and this is the string w so we have to iterate for each word in the string yes and so for the first word fox it is not equal to w that is lion and for the next word lion so lion is the string w so it will be enclosed within double quotes and then we have tiger so we print tiger and then doll and then cat and then again we have lion so it must be enclosed within double quotes as it is the string w so yes this will be the output now we'll take our another test case. So here we have this is pen is the string W and this is the string yes and when we get pen in the string yes we'll enclose within double quotes. So only small case pen will be enclosed within double quotes. And then other things will be as it is and then again we have pen here so and we have open it will be as it is and then again we have pen it will be enclosed within double quotes so this will be the output for the second test case Now let us implement our program so we should just define this function that is enclose words within the double quotes so we'll get the character yes and character w arrays and here we have character asterisk new string and it will be equal to the character into sorry asterisk malloc of 1001 asterisk size of the character so here we use emalloc because we need to do memory allocation for this new string and also in a function to return a character array we need emalloc and then we'll have the int index is equal to 0 and 
the index equal to zero for the iterations and after this we'll have while in the in is less than str length of es and inside the while loop we'll have the character word 101 that is here you can see we are iterating with each word so so we have character word and del v size of 101 and then we have int word in is equal to 0 initially and we'll have a for loop for to check whether we get a null character or a space between the words so for int ch int is equal to int so if uh, the s of index that is s of ch of index is equal is, uh, is not equal to a uh, space or and s of ch index is then it will be incremented so after this inside this for loop will have the word of word index plus plus is equal to s of ch index and after this we'll have word of word index is null means so if it is equal to zero then this will check the condition whether the we'll use the string compare function here so if the string compare of the word comma w is equal to equal to zero means then the new string of the ind uh, of index plus plus that is this string that is new string of index plus plus is equal to a slash and then we'll just concatenate the new string with the word and after this we have index should be incremented with the string length of the word and after that again we should leave a space so we'll just repeat that statement so a space before the word and space after the word so in the else part we're going to have a condition where if the word that is if the word is or comma w is not equal to equal to zero then we'll have to concatenate just the new string with the word and the index will be incremented with the str length of word and the new string will be So we'll have a space between the words so in order to leave the space we have new string index of plus plus equal to our space and then 
will increment the index with the str length of word plus 1 and then again the new string of the index is equal to a null then we'll return the new string so this is the function of the program so this is the function